Hey, welcome back to Biz Talk TV. I'm your business host and guide, Michael Rager. And it's time, we're gonna talk with our good friend, Norma Elmasari. Norma, how are you today? I'm good, how are you, Michael? I'm great, you staying dry today. It's one of those days in Houston. Yeah, here in Chicago, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about growing businesses and how we go and what's going on with you. So tell me a little bit about when you got into business what was one of the main challenges that you really struggled with in the beginning? So the main struggle since I worked from home was just dividing the time between work and home. <laughs> so time management, that was mainly the big challenge. So what I did for that, I, like it's very easy to actually keep working and never stop because you feel, okay, it's you're home, you're at the office, you're not leaving, never leaving, or the opposite, like get distracted with something at home and never get to actually the to work to get your challenge, get your business done. Um, so what I did for that, actually, I had a schedule, like, okay, this is my schedule, these two hours I'm allowed to take to do maybe food or something, and any other thing, like, no, no, not until the end of work day, and I put end of work day. Of course, there's an uh, exception. So let's, for example, if I have a coaching call, that's later. So I give myself a little more time for personal and home in the morning so I can stay later in the evening. But in general, like I, I don't know, five, six, that's, that's all. I don't do more than that. Other way, it's very easy to just keep actually working. So this is the biggest challenge. And another challenge, what happened is like, you know, have doing a business really get a lot of challenge. Like it's a, like a spotlight on yourself, on your inner self. So a lot of things comes up that you need to work on in order to really grow your business, limited belief on money, limited belief on what you can do. So that's really like, I, I figure out, like, I really had to work on my side in my side you know like within myself in order to really um grow on my business more so that was really challenging and every day i discover something new like you need to work on this because this is your limited belief like this this product's not gonna go well until you work on this limited belief one last thing is hiring knowing what time you have to hire and when you should actually let people go because it's really hard in the beginning like okay can i afford these people but i need my time back i need to be right. doing this thing instead so that's really something i, I had to be actually courageous enough to do it early <laughs> and i don't regret it but then it came time that okay i found out i i hired so many people that i don't really need so how did I know that? Cash flow. So cash flow, like we spoke about it in a, one of the episodes, this is a main indicator. And this is where I knew, like I had to make um, a decision of downsizing and just letting the first person go. That was really hard because a lot of <laughs> things involved with it. <laughs> yeah, when you get you get business owners, all of a sudden we got to make these decisions on hiring and firing and do all these things. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't want this be person to be mad at me forever. And, and this happens. So you brought out some pretty interesting points here. You know, we were talking about Clara earlier in the show and we we're talking about that, that time management. That time management is very, very hard for business owners when they're just starting out. I think you, you, you did some you know, really great things there. So what kind of pressure did your family put on you to make sure that you got that time management part right so they would let you keep running your own business? So actually I had to divide it's a responsibility, delegate everything. Everyone has to do something. I'm, for example, responsible for making food, but cleaning, that's not my responsibility. Someone else has to do this. So we had to really um, divide responsibilities. Other, th other than that, like if I'm gonna do everything myself, it's gonna be hard. Like shopping, I had to sometimes use service, sometimes someone else do it, sometimes I would do it, but I'm not afraid to actually go an Instacart and just order something because I don't have time to go get that. Or maybe even if I just need to rest because resting is as important as doing work and 
keep going for your business. So what happened last year at the end of the year, because I didn't pay attention to that, I was broken the last six weeks of the year, just like very disappointed, very tired. I got COVID, and even though like I didn't get COVID, like when COVID started, <laughs> I got it because just I was like really, um, really tired and running nonstop doing, trying to do everything. But when I started like re-managing everything, focus on certain th stuff, have a clarity on what do I want to focus on, even in my business, not like trying to do everything um, and from at home, like, so this is really important. Like that really helped me this year. So when I feel like, okay, I cannot do it. Maybe I have to go treat myself like for a lunch, for a massage, for anything that really can take care of me so I can keep going and <laughs> go on with my business. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a huge thing that business owners that struggle at, you know, they, they get into that potential burnout. And it, it sounds like that's where you were getting. I mean, you're just going, 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 and that burnout hits. It's, it's knowing when to step back. So it sounds like that was a really pivotal, pivotal, uh, I can't even talk today, pivotal moment for you to make a decision on making some changes, right? Yes, definitely. It was. Because you cannot keep running. You have to give yourself a break. <laughs> you have to give yourself a break. Otherwise, like... Yeah, you, everything will fall off and you don't want things to fall off. Like your health, your home, <laughs> everything. <laughs> you're just trying to build a business. You just have to balance everything out. Yeah, you have sometimes to put more hours for work. For example, for me, tax season is really a season where I can long, I can work long hours. But also when that happened, I have to actually treat myself for something and, you know, just to make up that for that time that I worked extra so I don't fall off like all the all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's really important because it's it's not only you gotta be there for your clients and bear for your business, you gotta be there for your family as well. Because that's why we run a business. We run a business to leave a legacy. We do we do some very important things by being business owners. I mean it's really hard. People don't understand how hard it is, do they? Yes, no they don't. Actually you won't be able to Understand how hard, how hard it is until you get into it. <laughs> like just jump in the swimming pool, right? You think, oh, it's going to be easy, especially with those like TikToks and other things saying, oh, you, this is how you make money easy. Nothing is easy. You have to put the time, <laughs> you have to make like steps, like make commitments, get a coach. Coach, having a coach is really important to be honest yep. because there's, you have to have someone hold you accountable. You have to have someone like push you and actually let you know like what you are capable of because we have all these doubts inside of us. Imposter syndrome comes in <laughs> every now and then. So it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's no, doable. It's... If you want to do it, just have to do it. You know? No, it, it's not for sure. That's why as coaches are really important. So Nora, so if somebody wants to get a hold of you quickly, how do they get a hold of you? And, uh, set up an appointment so they can learn from you and uh, get that money going their nonprofit. Sure. So they should go to my website, norasbooks.com slash contacts. When they uh, go there, they can book a call and my Calendly link. So if they go to the website, norasbooks.com, they can go to contact us or they can just use that slash contact. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to talking about some great strategies next week to grow these businesses. So I think it'll be fun. So you have a great week, Nora. Thank you, you too. Thank you. All right, this is Michael Rager here on Now Media Television and Biz Talk TV. We'll be back with more right after this.